Right now what we're going to do is show you how to update the firmware inside one of these uh, spinner blade ion watts computers. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. The one thing you will need is uh, one of these uh, handy dandy FISP uploaders. Um, if you're familiar with any kind of uh, Star Trek treadmills and other machines, uh, you will be familiar with one of these. Uh, if you're not sure how to uh, upload software into one of these, uh, go to our website uh, at support.startrek.com and you will find uh, a video on this whole process. So uh, right here I do have my FISP uploader uh, with the uh, Watts computer software in it, the latest version that I downloaded from the website as well. And we'll go ahead and show you how to get this installed into here. First thing we need to do is we're going to have to remove the Watts computer from the uh, handlebars. Uh, in order to do that we're going to remove these uh, two screws. We've got one right here and one right here. The one thing we want to do when we're removing this is be very careful about this cable and the connector. Uh, we don't want to damage the connector on the PCB. Now that I got the uh, screws out, carefully uh, look back here and I want to disconnect this cable right here. If you look right inside here, this is the uh, the connector where that cable was, and that's the one part you want to be careful of uh, when you're disconnecting. You don't want to uh, really like yank out it. Uh, you can damage that connector. Now that I have the Watts computer off the bike, I'm going to remove the two screws. There's one here, and there's one right here. I'm going to remove those so I can open up the uh, Watts computer. So now I have my Watts computer open. Uh, the one port you want to look at is this port right here. And uh, this is my uploader where I'm going to plug in my uploader. And then uh, I'm going to have to plug the uh, cable from the bike back into this point so I can get the whole system to power up. Uh, so right now I'm going to take the, the cable that we disconnected earlier and I'm going to plug that back in and just to make sure it will power up I'm going to uh, pedal on the bike and it's powering up so that's a first step I'll let it power down and then I'm going to get my uh, FISP uploader. If you look on the uh, the cable here, the FISP uploader, it has a uh, it's like a polarizing color. This one you can barely see it, but if you look here, you'll see there's like a like a red line uh, that's like right on this side. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the the red line or the polarizing line here is pointing down and if you look at the, the little connector right here it says J1 you want to make sure that line is going down there when you plug it in. You also want to give it a visual inspection uh, make sure that you're not plugged in like one pin off because that can really throw things off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pedaling the bike. As soon as I start pedaling the bike uh, the fist swap loader turns on as the Watts computer turns on and it'll be green, uh, blinking like a uh, amber or orange light and what we want to do is wait until this light turns green and that lets us know that the upload is complete. It's important to keep the uh, pedals going and now we're at green so our update is done and we can disconnect the FISP uploader. So now that we've done our upload, we want to just double check and make sure that the uh, software change has happened. 
Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need a magnet. Um, that's going to allow us to get into the maintenance mode. Uh, and then we're going to uh, start pedaling. Once the screen boots up, you take your magnet, just wave it on the side. And that puts it into uh, the maintenance mode. And right here where it says soft, and you can see right here, uh, 1, 7, uh, and that's what happened to be in the uploader that I just used. It's version 1.7. So our upload took, and now we can go ahead and reinstall the uh, back housing and put the Watts computer back on to the bike. Now that we got it back together, uh, let's just give it one more test, make sure everything powers on. And we want to go through the uh, setup for this Watts computer. <laughs> 